Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with TheOnTileGameShow.com and I have a quick little announcement for you guys and some help and some tips as well. If you're another YouTuber, this video is specifically for you. If you're the general audience on YouTube or some of my subscribers, this might not really apply to you, but you might want to watch the video anyways, just so you guys know and don't rage on other channels that accidentally do this. So here's the problem guys, and here's the good thing. Let's start off with the good stuff first. YouTube allowed everybody to upload 60 frames per second content to YouTube either in 1080p or 720p this week. And as you guys can see right here, this video that I have right here is a little blooper video. It's 720p, 60 frames per second on Chrome. Now the same video, once again, right here, same title, uploaded, is now 720p, not 60 frames per second. And you can see when you go to Stats for Nerd, it says 30 frames per second. On the same exact video, it is now is 60 frames per second. So this is... This when I first uploaded the video, this is about 10 minutes after I uploaded the video, dropped back down to 30 frames per second. So why would this happen and how can you avoid this happening on your channel and have your subscribers or your fans rage at you because they think you're lying about saying that your video is true 720p at 60 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second. The reason why this happened is because you might be using this feature on YouTube called YouTube Branding Intros. These branding intros that you upload to YouTube either could be in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second, but the problem is once these branding intros get applied to your video, they actually go ahead and remove the 60 frames per second feature from your video because YouTube has to go ahead and do its own processing, which you've seen right here what's happening on the same exact video, the YouTube um, bloopers video for Borderlands that I made earlier. And because of that, the video is going to get down to 30 frames per second once YouTube actually exports the new video with the intro. So because you actually have a YouTube branded intro, it drops the video from 60 frames per second back down to 30 frames per second once it applies that YouTube branded intro, no matter if the video is actually originally 60 or the branded intro is originally 60 as well. The reason I know this is because, well, I did some tests. I originally uploaded this video right here with the one I'm highlighting. It says real 60 frames per second PC max setting Borderlands the pre-sequel and it was a nice little video I actually got a few comments but I actually didn't refresh the page but anyways and I uploaded a video I watched it it was at 60 frames per second then I waited a few minutes my YouTube branded intro was applied my YouTube branded intro is this right here guys as you guys are going to see because it was the intro of this video as well it's a little branded intro but once that YouTube brand intro is applied to the video, the video went back down to 30 frames per second, as you guys will be able to see right now once I click the video. Let me go back into, sorry, hold on a second. Let me go into Firefox, I mean Safari, uh, Google Chrome, because Google Chrome is the best place to see this because 60 frames per second is not available in Firefox right now. So it goes stats for nerds. And as you guys can see, even though I know this video is 100% 60 frames per second when I uploaded it, and YouTube does support 60 frames per second, now the video did drop down to 30 frames per second. So how can you actually fix this problem and get your video to 60 frames per second on YouTube and you have a YouTube branding intro? Well, unfortunately, guys, if you're a YouTuber like me, I don't see no way around this. If you're going to be using a YouTube branding intro, you're going to have to deal with the problem of having your videos not really display at 60 frames per second. The only way to not do this is to actually remove your YouTube branded intro because currently YouTube does not allow you to pick specific videos to apply YouTube branded intros to. You only could pick a specific date to apply them after. So if you didn't want, if you want to upload videos, let's say today, right? I could be like, okay, I'll upload all my videos today, don't have them be on all my videos, and then tomorrow I'll upload a brand new YouTube um, brand new intro, then those videos would get the brand new intro. That's the only way I could basically think about it. You could not have it, um, take off all your brand new intros today, upload all the 60 frames per second demo videos you want to do, and then tomorrow you could apply the brand new intro to all your other videos. It's not a really good fix, and I don't really like having to do it like that. So unfortunately, at this very second, guys, I want to upload 60 frames per second content to YouTube, but because I still like using my YouTube branding intro, because it's very useful to me, guys, I do not want to actually remove this feature from my YouTube channel just for, to bump it up to 60 frames per second personally all right guys so let me know if you guys are going to actually remove the branded intros do you guys use branded intros i like branded intros i thought this was an excellent idea that youtube added what i'm hoping that youtube does is they go ahead and actually allow it to process the video and allow it to actually combine together into one set video at 60 frames per second all right guys so beaky here with the untile game show.com once again just to show you guys my example when i first uploaded this video right here 
it's at 60 frames per second. Once the YouTube branding intro was applied to the video, as you guys can see right here, it's playing in the background, the video dropped down to 30 frames per second. Unfortunately, I don't like that, but it's what's happening right now. So if you're dealing with the problem as well, that's what's happening. Till next time, guys. Peace out. I hope you guys like this little tip right here. I hope I try to explain it very well. Um, it's a specific problems, only specific people on YouTube who likes uploading high quality videos. If you just don't care what quality you upload, then this won't matter to you at all. Till next time. Peace out.